G'day bladesmiths, welcome to Forging Fundamentals Part 1. Today we're going to be covering how to put a point or a tip on your raw billet. We're going to show you how to forge a choil or a heel on the knife and we're going to forge out the bevel. We're going to start by forging the tip on our piece of steel. We do this by hammering the corners on each side, causing the middle part well outwards which is going to form our tip. going to mushroom and each time it mushrooms we just hammer it flat. Repeat the process until the tip starts becoming round. Hammering away your mushrooms. When doing this always work the tip on the edge of the anvil. That way your hammer blows can fall off the edge a little bit to make sure it stays round. Once it's round we can start hammering a more pointed tip onto it. Now we're going to hit heavy hammer strokes right here and we're going to form it into a tip. Notice how my hammer head falls off the anvil to get that to a point. Now I have my point, I want to remove the mushrooms. Now I've got a point but the steel is still the same thickness. Now we're going to do a distal taper. I do my distal taper from about halfway the length of the blade. So we're going to start by hammering the steel flat and then profile it again. You can see the taper. It's not very even right now, but this is the first pass. We're going to hit the steel. We're going to hammer the steel along the edges and then down the middle. how we keep the taper even. You can see a very even taper in the steel and it has gotten a little bit fatter either side. So we're now going to reprofile the blade. The knife has been reprofiled with its distal taper. Now we're going to start forging the choil or the heel of the knife forge on the back of the blade to create a small notch. This notch is where the choil or the heel of the blade is going to start. Place the notch on the corner of the anvil and pinch it between the hammer and the anvil. Once you've established the center line, you're ready to forge out the rest of your bevel. You can take it one step further, which I'm going to do now. There we go, in the middle, and I've forged about three quarters of the way to the back of the knife. You'll notice that the edge is on the flat portion and not the rounded portion. Although it seems counterintuitive, as we forge the bevel out, the edge is going to get longer and the blade is going to start sweeping up. I'm now going to forge the bevels out, starting with the heel, working my way up to the tip. Symmetry is important. Turn it over. You may notice as I'm forging, I forge along the edge, I then forge down the middle, and then I forge up towards the back. But never directly on the spine, we don't want to make our piece of material thinner. We've already established a distal taper, we don't want to interfere with that. By forging along the edge, down the middle and slightly up, we ensure we get the maximum width out of the piece of steel. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, so now I'm happy. I maybe can do my edge a little thicker, but I'll go over that one more time once I've straightened the blade. Now you'll see here it's got a kink in it where we're forging out the edge. We're going to straighten that now. I have removed the handle from the steel. If you have conventional steel in a flat bar form, you won't need to do this, but the principle is the same. Put your piece of steel up against the corner of your anvil, especially some parts that's sharp. Lower your angle and hit it. And keep doing that until it starts to go straight. Okay, so once we've straightened the ricasso and the tang section, we're now going to reprofile the blade to its final shape.
over the surface of your steel gently with the hammer now to flatten out any bumps or straighten any warps or twists. Always checking that everything is straight. And once you're happy with your blade, start work on the tang, but that will cover in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Smith Hand Forge Knives. You can catch us in the next video where we forge out a variety of tangs and we show you how to square up that heel very nicely.